Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly make this Illustrator paper cut effect. We're going to start by pressing N and creating a box on our 800 by 800 pixel artboard right there. And then we're going to press N and we're going to start drawing our shape. Now we're going to draw a shape by drawing the outside shape and then the inside shapes. So let's start with our outside shape. Press the N click and hold and you want some just random shape and the only thing that you want to avoid is having any sharp edges you want everything to be rounded okay great then let's plus n and draw the next shape inside here just click and hold and the pencil settings that I'm using are just the fidelity is basically in the middle of the setting in the middle of the guides and everything else is default okay and we'll draw our next one you want it to basically follow the shape but it doesn't matter and you can have any shape going on in here and we'll have one quick shape in here like this now follow screw up here Okay, great. Now we're going to select all our shapes like that. And we're going to go to Pathfinder and click on Divide. Okay, now we select our object right here, right click, and we're going to ungroup it. Now we're going to apply our colors. And the general way of applying the colors is you want your inside shape to be the darkest and to get it lighter as you go outwards if you're using just one color. So I'm just going to use the color straight from here because that way it's a bit faster for you guys. Next one is this one, I think, yeah. And like that. And there we have it. Okay, so now we have this shape right here. Note that there's no stroke, that's quite important. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these four shapes, excluding the inside, and we're gonna add a drop shadow effect. And we do this by going to Effect, then Stylize, and Drop Shadow, okay? You want your mode to be Multiply, Opacity 75, and then these two settings we can change ourselves. First we click on Preview, okay? And now you see how this Drop Shadow is kind of sticking outwards? We're going to fix this in just a moment, but no worries. So you see it's going to stick out just a little bit like that. So seven by seven pixels, blur five, that's okay. I think it's a bit deeper on this. We can move it up to 10, how about that? 10 by 10, okay, great. Now, we're gonna select this, we're gonna go control E, send it to the back, and we're just gonna go into our layers. So now that's at the back, and we're just gonna reverse the order of our layers like this. This goes to here, this goes to here, and that goes like that. So you just reverse the order of the layers. So you want this to be at the back, followed by this, by this, by this, and this will be your top layer. And once you do that, you see your drop shot effect works perfectly. And that's all there is to it for this effect. So I hope you like this tutorial. Try out some new shapes and different customizations. Check out our other videos, subscribe if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. And of course, as always, have a great day.